Um, I don't know, I guess we agree on 30 bucks a day, which isn't very much money, but um, and so sometimes it comes out to be more. I'm, I'm going to start doing sessions again. I think that's the easiest way to bring in money and the most reliable. I was trying to set up a session a day. I have one later today, tomorrow. I don't have a, an answer machine message on my phone there. It's very, you know, powerful. But I got two calls yesterday from off of uh, YouTube movies. But those don't ever seem to amount to much. So I started to just refer them to the site to watch movies, to watch the four hour movie. And then I usually don't hear from them again. So now, especially after last night's call, I decided to just sort of call people that I already know or that I've already worked with and, you know, see what they want to do next. Well, what does the outline tell you to do with people? Mm -hmm. uh, the new people? The brand new people? Yeah. Um, it'll say, um... As far as as far as uh, money contributing and so on, I guess ask them for a contribution. You know that could range from getting a bumper sticker on the car to sending money to join the college to um, you know doing something bigger or different of their design. I guess it depends on the person. Most of these people are just brand new people. They're scared. They have herpes or something. And they're all freaked out. So I send them back to the, the site because I feel like I've spent a lot of time with people on the phone and testing. And if they haven't watched the movie, they're not going to do the work. Then there's nothing really, <clears throat> you know, in there for me besides practice. And you know, it's kind of I spent a lot too much time with some of the new people on the phone. Nothing came of it. Invite them to a meeting Monday night, which occasionally they come. Actually, well, I noticed one guy Kate, uh, wrote me back today that I worked with like weeks ago. <clears throat> so, um. so you're unclear how much or how little time to spend with people. Uh, well, I'm getting clear because I've made some, you know, the right mistakes with certain people. So now I'm getting, I'm using the site more, which usually stops in their tracks. Like usually, rarely do they say, "Oh, I watched the movie. I'm calling you back." You know, but I guess that's better from than me working them with them for an hour and then not calling back either. So, but uh, this guy that. Was, Talked to a couple, you know, it must have been a week. So you don't, you it. don't have a message on your phone that handles it. No, and usually I answer my phone. Though I so, always answer my phone. So that's your first step: is to have the message and not answer your phone. Um, like don't answer okay. your phone and have the message and let them hear the message. And okay. of course, if it's your friend calling, your phone will tell you, so you can answer the phone then. That's good because most of my friends got really upset when I had a long message on my phone. Which made me think I need a separate phone, but they need to um, hear the message. There's, there's, so you should no probably way to bypass my message. You should probably it actually. Probably is. You should probably. Friends. Yeah, I know. With no, with with each friend, you should probably make sure that they hear your message at least once. Uh -huh. Because that tells them who you are. And your friends are the people who most need to know who you are. True. Very true. Also, we don't do sessions with people. So you can forget about that. We do coaching and immersion weekends. Yeah, but I, well, I haven't had an immersion, I got a co immersion weekend, I lost the 450 and I lost the we didn't get a cent from the 450 I sent to Greg. And I haven't had an immersion weekend and I haven't had a coaching one. So, you know, and I introduced my friends to other people and now other people are doing sessions with of other things to my friends. So I don't know how I'm supposed to support myself. So then I, then I can just stay home. You know, I have a... I... I... Hey, I... I don't know. I don't, 
it kind of boxes me into a corner. I mean, I would rather do a movie because I'm hanging out waiting for one. I notice that something's happening. Well, we do ask people for donations. For Bart, we do ask people for donations. We do not offer to do anything for them. The donation is a donation. It's simply a donation. That's what we do. We ask for donations. And the more someone is involved, you know, probably the more likely they are to give one. Mm -hmm. So that's so now we're back to the original question. Okay, that's good. That's so good for What's your daily money. game in terms of asking people for money and bringing money in, not running the outline twice, because that... I could use a hundred bucks a day, I'd like to rather make a hundred bucks okay, a day. Okay, stop. That's the whole point of the 20 mile march. Mm -hmm. The reason that these companies were so successful is that they did not try to go for the quick big one. They went for the every, every day smaller one. Okay? Two, well, let's say $20 a day then. Two, so con two, contrast, two contrasting companies. One of them was Intel, and the other was the other company. I can't remember which one it is. And the other company had a growth spurt in one year of 120%. And they made a statement, the CEO made a statement, we're going for 200% next year. We're going to, like, we want maximum growth. And their stock went way up. Intel was their competitor, and they're the one that survived. And the CEO of Intel said, we're trying to limit our growth so that we can control it better. And the, uh, the other company died. They had se several years of an astronomical growth, and then they had some catastrophic other years, and they finally just folded. So, no. 20 is probably too small. 30 is probably doable, but it's going to, you know, challenge you a little bit. And that's what you want. You want it to be something that was challenging. You know, I'm watching the movie The Last Place on Earth, which is about Scott Amundsen. And there were some of the days, he didn't make 20 miles. There was one day when he made eight miles in a blizzard. Um, so anyway, that's um, what my question is. What is your daily game? Yeah, hey, well, we already agreed just 30 to bucks. I said two or two. And what about how many people are you going to ask per day for donations? And these have to be money, not they take you to dinner. They, they, they give you money and take you to dinner if they want to take you to dinner. They also hand you some money. So how much... Uh, how many I'll say people? Ten, 10 people. Okay. And you know, the other day you said nine, and that sounded okay to me. I mean, it's, if you want to say nine, that's fine. Ten is easier. No, I said two. Ten is fine. Okay, well, two, I two. saw a tweet that said nine people. Now... That's about how many I got that day. Okay. Well, that's good, you know. By the way, it is okay to ask an extra person or two if you want. But basically, what you want to do is, after you make your targets, relax. Like when you take in $30, focus on what you want to spend it on. Somebody will give you $50 and you'll be home and you'll have an extra $20. So that's fine too. Some days you'll take in more money. You don't want to take in less than $30. That should be a minimum. You really want to keep going until you take in $30. Because you're not out in a blizzard in the South Pole. So you can do that. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, when you tweet, do a game completion tweet every day. Okay? Okay. Um, here are the things to tweet about, and I wrote a, something on Facebook about it. Um, let me go to Greg. Um, Greg, you there with me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. 
Thank you, Barb. You can go back on mute. Greg, the, the things that I want everybody to tweet about, including you, every day. First of all, when you're in the morning, when you're reading tweets, tweet. And what I want you to tweet about is I want you to check your bodies for any and all things that might be wrong. And Barb, do this. Franny, do this. Ross, do this. Check your bodies in the morning before you get out of bed. Uh, turn, like, I mean, get out of bed, pee, you know, put water on your face or whatever, but then get back in bed and, t you know, check your bodies and tweet about what you c cured. Okay, number one. Okay. Greg, also tweet about your interactions. When you have an interaction, tweet about it. Remember the woman you were doing the outline with at the party? Yes. That, that was good for three or four tweets. Right. You want us to participate with you when you do the outline. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, tweet about cures that you got your, for yourself and other people throughout the day, of course. You know, that goes without saying. At the end of the day, tweet about your miracles. What happened for you today? I should follow my own I, advice and do this. I, I have to define miracles as other people might see them as miracles. Often. Because to me, oh, it's just another incredible thing. It's a miracle, but it's like commonplace sort of Right thing. here. You, right, see, right. you see how you feel and look? This is yeah. how I want you to be on movies. Right now, this is it. This is your character that I want to see in movies. Right here. And absolutely define them the way you define them and tweet about them. Yeah, just right, that right. I saw a, a pink cloud and it's a miracle. Or whatever you want to say oh. is, is a miracle is fine Wait. with me. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And, and every, I want everybody to remember that Chris and Linda are listening and that we're sending other people to this Twitter group. Yes. I called Reggie the other day and he called me back and we sort of, you know, sort of told each other what's going on. And I realized that I love Reggie and he's my friend and I want to, you know, keep him in my life. So just uh, thinking about that. Um, Greg, did you get anything from Tr uh, Trisha this morning? Um, no, uh, unless there was an email that I had not looked at emails. But not. It probably on... was. She wrote to you. She wants to do an immersion weekend. Um, she, where did she write? I don't you know, don't look I, don't but, look now. I don't, Just stay in the meeting. Just stay in I the got, meeting. I got it. So Trish, okay. I got what I got was from you by message that she was wanted to and she would write to me. I I didn't see it yet. Okay. Now Trish is Trish Diaz in the United Arab Republic, who we've spoken with. Yeah. The one yeah that I spent some time with. Uh, she was married to a guy in France, her children were still in France. She was, anyway, she came to a meeting once. Now, let me, let me read you the dialogue on Facebook. Hey, Bayard, me again, how are you? I have a question for you if you have a minute. My temptation was to say, you just asked one. Uh -huh. But what I wrote back is, did you watch that movie? She wrote me back. I'm watching it over and over with a smiley face. I have already donated and I'm a member, but it's a little overwhelming. Lots to read and look into, but I'm getting there. Just wanted to know about signals. A while ago, I was, I think, getting really clear signals. Now I can ask a question which I know would be a yes and I get nothing. I think I can't tell. And I wrote back, this would be easier if you just call me and I gave her my phone number. Yes. And um, so she called me. And so we were talking 
And I, what happened was, I ran the outline with Trish this morning. Except, you wouldn't recognize the outline because it was with that person who's got her password, is in the web college, is doing the work, ran into a problem, called me up, and when the fr minute we started talking, she started sharing all this great stuff that's been, you know, like she's, it's really been great for her and she loves it, but she's not where she wants to be. So I said, you know, I said, you, you probably need a coach. And she said, yeah. And I said, you know, like, um, you know, maybe you could do, like, we have this, like, we have an immersion week, and maybe you could start with that, you know, and just really get into it intensely. And she said, oh, that'd be great. And I said, well, here, I'm like, go on the hub. And she went on the hub, and I showed her right on the upper left the link for the immersion weekend, and she clicked on it. And I said, so, you, I told you, pay Greg $900. I will call you back, and we will make an appointment, to, and we'll meet, you'll have a coach. And you'll meet with your coach and we'll plan your immersion weekend. So she said, oh, that's terrific, you know. And uh, then I told her what to do about the signal problem. I said, go in there, get signals again. And I said, when you're, I said, don't test your signals anymore. Like, like don't wonder whether your signals are, any, right. are any good. Um, just test things. Like, and if you, if you get a weird signal, I said, because if you ask God a dumb question, God will tease you. And you know what she said to me? She said, I, I said to God just this morning, you're having one over on me, aren't you? And so uh -huh. I said to her, I think you have a real friendship with God. And we were laughing. Yeah. I, I mean, here's somebody who really is getting a result. So... Barb, did you get the text I sent you? Okay. So, um, anyway, that's uh, what happened there. Now, here's what I want to see now. Franny, uh, get back on your phone. I'm going to have to call a different one because uh, someone kept trying to call you. Okay. Well, call, call, in, with your, uh, call in with your handheld. Um, Call in, and I want you and Ross. Ross, get the outline up. Everybody get the outline in front of you. And Ross, I want you and Franny to do the outline. Now, this is going to be Ross. Franny, you're going to be Ross calling a guy who calls from about the quit smoking post that Ross put on a, a bunch of YouTube movies. And he wants her help. He is, um, his, no, actually, no, no, wait, okay, cancel that. He's calling to cure his herpes. Ross put posts about helping people cure their herpes on herpes movies. And, uh, she, uh, okay, so you're Ross, and, uh, this guy's name is Alfonso. He lives in Rome, works in a library, he's 23. What a name. No, they don't. Uh, uh, Italians aren't named Alfonso? Yes. Oh, good. It's ugly. It's what? Ugly. Well, why don't you make a, give him another name? Because he's a cute looking guy. Uh. Massimiliano. All right, oh. his, his name is Massimiliano. Okay. Sorry. All right. So, yes, first name. So Ross, first name, Maximiliano. So, Ross, you're a Maximiliano. Okay. You are a Maximiliano, and Franny, you are Ross. Or me. Yeah, you're Ross calling him. Okay, just let me, okay. How to be an advocate, yes, this is. What? Yes. How to be an advocate. F Franny, do you have the outline in front of you now? Yes, I do. Okay. You, okay, Ross, you don't need the outline if you can't get it. Just be Maximiliano, okay? Okay. You don't need to have the outline. Franny, you'll do the outline. Go. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hi. Are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. My name's Massimiliano, 
and uh, I need some help. I, I read on Facebook that uh, it's possible to cure herpes. Well, you want to try something that uh, will help you cure herpes? Oh, please. Okay, well, um, first you, you're going to get a signal um, that will tell you whether or not you're actually getting an answer about the question I'm going to give you to ask for yourself. And basically you... Excuse me, what kind of signal? Okay, so it can be anything. It can be a twitch of your finger. It can be something that you feel in response to it in your body. Um, okay, cut, cut, cut. Everybody else go on mute, please. Barb, go on mute, please. Um, I, I want to say, first of all, you forgot to ask her if she had time to talk. Oh, you mean... No, you, you're always calling them because you have this oh, phone okay. message. See, you have a oh, message okay. on your phone that tells them not to leave a message until they've gone to the web college and watched the movie. And then to call you and you will help them. So, uh, but sometimes you call them back even if they haven't done that. If you feel like getting some practice, you call them back. The thing is, that you're always calling them, you never want to answer the phone. Oh, okay. Because that way you're at effect, you want to be at cause. You want to be the cause point, you want to be, you're calling them. So, um, also, um, like just tell them to look for a signal in their hand, like one of their fingers jerking or a, a change in there, like one of their hands. Okay. Tell them to relax their hands. Don't create this enormous range where they don't have no idea what to look for. Don't do yeah. that anymore. Stop doing that. Okay. Unless you're actually sitting face to face with somebody who has told you he has no nothing happening in his hand, you could say, is there anything going on in any other part of your body? And see if they have... They, Wait a minute, yeah, my toe twitched, okay? So that's fine, but... <laughs> Start with the but hand. this guy has not gone to see the movie, or he's gone to see the movie? You don't know, okay. He hasn't. You're just calling him to get some practice. Okay. So now, let's say you've asked him if he had time. He did. And he, let's say he got a signal, yes, I can cure things. So go ahead, take it from there, Fran. You're wrong. Okay. Okay. Do you want to buy a case this? Excuse me? Do you mind if I taste it while I'm talking to you? No, absolutely not. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, ask if you cure anything since you started doing immunity. Okay. Did I cure anything since you started doing immunity? Cut, cut, cut. Okay, stop. Cut, 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 cut. Um, Okay. You need to actually be looking at the outline, Franny, as you're doing this. I am. I am. Okay. Because what you missed is... Um, sure. Ask any other questions. Well, you, these are just examples of questions. What you want to do is... Now, he just tested that he can cure something. You actually want him to cure something. Okay. Like right now, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you and go to Ross, okay? Ross, you're Maximiliano, I'm you. Okay. Okay? So, okay. Um, uh, okay, so you just tested you can cure something? Good. Um, <clears throat> test this question, can I kill a virus? Can I kill a virus? Can I kill a virus? Getting anything now? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, how about can I cure my herpes? Test that. Can I cure my herpes? Yes. Wow, yes. You feel any different? Oh, yes. I feel very good. Okay. I feel excited. I feel open. I feel clear. 
I feel totally different. <laughs> okay, well that that's wonderful, okay? Now, all right, I'm going to tell you a few things about this, okay? Hmm. Yeah, please. Like, like thousands of people have cured herpes with what you just did. Oh. And this is a cult. A cult? It's a cult. Hmm. Cults are these little tiny groups of people, right? Yes. And we do weird shit, which you just did some weird shit, right? Yes. And also, we think we know things other people don't know. Like, you just tested that you can cure your herpes. Like, a lot of people tell you you're crazy. Yeah, sure. And if I you, understand that. And if you tell them, well, I'm with these other people who cured the same way, they'll tell you you're in a cult. They would know that, right? Yes. It's a cult. Yes, I think so. So it's a cult, all right? So it's, okay. Because thousands of people is not very many people in a world. Do you know how many people have herpes on this planet? No idea. Probably around four billion. My God! The, the infection rates when they test people, the minimum infection rate is 65%. It means that if you have, like if you're at a dinner party and there are t you have 10 friends at the dinner party, s over six of those people have herpes. And could I teach those people to cure herpes? You can teach them. Wow, that's great. I, I want to tell you like how to, how to connect with the cult. So go right in here, look, look on your smartphone here. And you see this yes. Twitter feed? Go, go to the, go to the homepage. See the Twitter feed? There. Yes. Okay. Just click follow. Follow. Yes. Oh, just click the word follow. Okay. Now you're in with these other people. The, we're the ones in the cult who talk to. Some of the people in the cult don't talk to each other, but we're the ones in the cult who talk to each other. Oh. So you keep in touch all the time. We keep in touch throughout the day. Like this is an active cult. Like we're like like we're we're like buddies. It's you, beautiful. You know, these people like cure things in the morning and I know about it within ten minutes. I'm like on the on my handheld. That's great. You know? Okay. Our goal, okay, the thing that we're trying to do is we want everybody in the world to know they can cure things. Yeah. That's what we do. We want everybody in the world to know that they can cure things. That's beautiful. You know how people used to say the world is, is uh, flat? Oh, yes. Well, right now people say you can't cure herpes, it's incurable. Yes, I understand what you mean. So for them, the world is flat. We want them to know the world is round. Got it? Yes, that's what absolutely. It, that's what it's all Very about. Very clear. That's what it's all about. Okay. Um, what I want to ask you is, now that you know this is real, you've got a signal, how can you support this? What can you do right now, at this instant, that will support this? Well, first of all, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing something this instant uh, because uh, we, you're filming this, right? Yes. Okay, so everybody can see me curing my herpes. That is a contribution, then, that's right. And then I can cure my herpes so I could... Well, right now, okay, this. but right now, is there anything more besides making this movie that you can do to make a contribution? Uh, I can tell as many people as possible. Yeah, but I don't know right uh, I, now. I can if you make can... a donation. Okay, how about a donation? Um, do you have PayPal? Yeah. All right, how about sending yes. me like a donation? How much can you afford to send me on PayPal? Well, right now I think I can afford uh, one hundred dollars. Okay, great. Send me a hundred dollars. Super. Okay, I will. Cut. I will. Okay, cut. So that is not the whole outline, but that's 
part of the uh, that's what it is to run part of the outline that's what it looks like now obviously you're way up a leg up if you are in person looking at somebody's face sitting in a coffee shop and they can reach in their purse like the other day some guy handed Barb a hundred dollar bill right you know you know if you're if you're in person with somebody it's a whole lot easier but you do not have to focus on their contribution being joining the web college that's something they need to do after they contribute that's separate that's another thing that they're doing yeah. for themselves okay the contribution is a gift it's something that they're doing to give something this is really important we are starting people we want to start people out as givers rather than as only takers because what we got is like rafts of takers and so some of these people would be givers if they just got trained to be givers nobody told them nobody said anything to them so they thought oh I these people want to give something I'll just take from them get it got everybody with me on this yeah sure sure okay Hey, Bert. This is the end of our Bert. meeting, by the way. The yes, meetings. I'm with you. I'm on you. The meeting is. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I think. How would you? How would Barb approach, like speaking to Anza about making a donation, using this outline? Maybe you can demonstrate that next time. Speaking of who? Like Anza, like someone who has shared something, you know, and um, so we'd like to get a. Oh, you're talking about Ajna. Oh, we were doing something like that last night, but we really never got, we didn't get into it really very well. So. Well, I'd like to see because Barb is supposed to instruct she could call people and do. Yeah, but she, but Ajna called me like five minutes after we hung up last night on Ajna called me from Hawaii after not talking to me for like. Oh, yeah? Months. Yeah. And she had a problem, and I helped her with the problem. And after she, and I said, "Okay, you're all right now." She said, "Yeah, much better." I said, "Hey, how would you like to donate?" And then she, like, you know, backpedaled and didn't have money and whatever. Listen, let me let me let me just say something before we end. Before we stop, this is the meeting's over, but I just want to say this one thing to you. It would do Ajna a world of good just to. She has no money just to set up automatically in her bank account to send you five dollars a month anything so that she would feel like she's giving something she could be an adult instead of a child yep. so you would be doing her you would be doing her an enormous favor if you just said ten bucks a month I know you can afford it and you're signing up right now you're going to send me personally ten bucks a month forever. I know if I never help you again, if we never talk again, I get ten bucks a month for the rest of my life. You with me, Barb? Yeah. You you train people to give something. Yeah, she got. Okay. Give that you. They need to give because if they if they can't give. They're going to stay sick. And with that, um, I'm tempted to invite everybody to have something on Tuesday at 1230. Would you guys like to do something at 1230 on Tuesday? Absolutely, yes. You see the homepage of CureDrive.org, which is the Cure College on the web that we have put here for you to come learn how to cure medically incurable diseases. Now at the top of the page, the home page, which you should be on right here, and uh, I want to recommend if you have not already, get to this page by opening a tab. Do not turn this movie off. Open a tab so that you can still hear me talking and leave this tab open and then go to this website. Now the tally that you see 132k people ask where does that come from and if you notice right above it 
and this is by the way on every page in the web college it says report cure if I click on that now this we document our cures this movie that you're watching here is an example of that um, this is a movie where people cure things on camera and you watch them you watch them curing things uh, for example um, the woman it takes you to fibromyalgia where you see a lot of or two people curing fibromyalgia actually and underneath it there are many many shows on flu we had a flu hotline and what you'll find with this is that people with similar conditions get parallel results like these people who cured their flu or I don't think we ever had a person come in to cure the flu that you know was just getting it you know they all had had it for a couple of days there they are and they uh, you hear their flu cure in during the call in around 20 minutes um, so there's there are about a uh, hundred diseases represented on this page acid reflux abuse uh, there are you know you know conditions can be considered diseases also oh such as uh, tra traumatic stress syndrome from 9-11 the you know World Trade Center attack uh, a woman actually cured her traumatic stress syndrome from that so um, now if we're back on the home page again and up here at the top it says it says login hub and or sign up if you don't have a password you can sign up or you can log in and you come to a the hub of the Cure College. This is the hub, not the home page. And people, new people who come here, many many people just come in and get a password right away. They you know they instantly get a password and come in and they they say, "What is this?" <laughs> it's gigantic. Over here, this is the basic skill. Skill one is cure physical diseases and it has ten applications remove viruses cure cancer and trauma recode your DNA with certain diseases you must recode your DNA to cure the disease uh, this may be true for example of viral based diseases such as herpes simplex Epstein-Barr and so on and this each one has two links underneath it now if I click on the where it says lessons under recode your DNA and these are the lessons there's a huge page of lessons on recoding DNA and uh, one of the lessons is remove adverse DNA mut mutations you catch from other people um, Bet you didn't know you were doing that, <laughs> but you do, and here's the lesson on that, and you know, then you scroll down and there's all these questions. That's how the lessons work. You probably, if, you, if this is the first movie you've ever watched, you are probably not ready for a password right now, but you should probably know this is here at the same time and some things about it. For example, Here's a, an application of skill one, which is, what is skill one, do you recall? Cure physical diseases, right? And it's called the safety web. See it? Right here, the safety web. If I click on that, what I come to is a page of lessons about, and there's quite a few lessons on this page, about the safety web. Now basically, it's very simple. God isn't going to let you fail. You know, a woman asked me, um, I, I was telling her to kill, remove all bacteria from her physical body. And she said, well, if I remove all bacteria from my physical body, what, you know, will I remove my beneficial intestinal bacteria? And I said, no. 
you're not going to remove your beneficial intestinal bacteria. You're going to, uh, you know, God won't let you do that. You know, you're safe. However, there's more to the safety web than that. So, you, you'd want to know about the safety web. Also, there's, a, there's an application called knowingness is power. Most people ignore it. The reason it's here is because knowingness is curative. A lot of times, things that you cure happen just because you know something. Now, curing physical diseases is the lowest level of study in this web college. For example, um, here, which is in the mid-level, there's a skill called um, Three Spiritual Diseases. Do you see it? That's only skill nine. There are 12 skills. So, another one is about function. Reinstall your functions. Another one is about reclaiming your immune system so that you can be immune to these things and you won't have to cure cancer or herpes. You won't not get it. I, as I said before, have not had a flu in 20 years. I haven't had a flu even try to come on in the last 20 years. Okay. Um, if you're not ready for a password yet, <laughs> and by the way, when you're new, uh, you're probably better off with one of these options. These are the best options for new people, which are next to the movie. And that's when you know you want to start and you're ready, for, you're, you know, you're ready, you, you've like learned it and you understand how to do it. Uh, what You probably want to start getting a signal first. And if you notice under this movie, you should get start getting a signal when you watch during this movie, which is now four and a half hours. And there's many, many illustrations of people getting signals. So hopefully you'll pick it up while you're doing that. But if not, there's an entire page of signals, including a movie that plays automatically at the top, which is, uh, you know, a very good lesson with a lot of very serious people getting signals as the movie goes along you know, illustrating how they get signals. And then there are all these other movies about signals as you go down the page. This little tripod is wandering, I'm trying to hold this with my hand while I show this to you. So now, that's an example of some of the other things that are on here. This is our Twitter feed, this black thing, so that you can uh, see what advanced people, because everybody who posts on this has been doing it for a while and, you know, are curing things. You know, a lot of these people have already cured their herpes or their other thing that they came to cure, um, their chronic fatigue syndrome and so on, and now they're, you know, this is just some things I cooked. <laughs> this, it's, not a, it's not about cooking, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, there's, you know, lots of people just talking about what they're, you know, the more advanced things that they're doing. And... Uh, these are all people who've cured many things in the past and probably never get the flu, as I don't. N none of us ever get the flu anymore. We don't get sick in that way. No, that's, that's pretty basic, not getting the flu. So um, if you're not ready to, for a password, the thing to do is just keep watching movies. And let me show you something about that. There are lots of movies to watch. Here's one that says, I cured it in 10 minutes, and lots of people are interested in this. This is a popular movie. Um, this woman is uh, very experienced at, with this. She's been doing it about 15 years. And uh, But see, if you go down on this movie to here where it says YouTube, and let's click on this. Let's go to the YouTube page, which is the same movie. See, you're, you're on... You're, you're on the same. You're on the same movie now, and uh, right underneath it, there's something that says. Let me just show this to you. Cure Drive is the account that the movie is in, and you see it says it has 352 videos. So the thing to do is to click on that and go in to the Cure Drive account with the 352 movies. And then, once you're there, 
subscribe to the account so that you can get back to it easily. And uh, then there are other accounts too. This is not the only account. Some of them only have 25 movies. There's about 10 different accounts. But another one, there's another one that has 250 something movies on it. This is deceptively simple and easy. As you watch these people in these movies, the cure is always instantaneous. And it gives the impression that it's over and you don't have to continue. You don't have to study. And then you get sick again because you didn't get deep enough and get everything. Uh, with that being said, um, I want to uh, show you these women curing something instantly and leave you with the thought that it's probably not going to be what you expected it to be. That's, that, I think when you watch these women, that's what you see here, that it isn't, it's probably not going to be what you expected it to be, but it does cure, it probably will if you hang in there and stick with it, you probably will cure the thing you came to cure say, can I go to the 144th dimension? See if you get a signal on that. Can I go to the 144th dimension? Can I go to the 144th dimension? Yes? I guess I can. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. Uh, both of you go to the 144th dimension. I'm taking myself to the 144th dimension. Mm. Me too. No stopping for gas on the eighth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, clear. Yeah, I feel uh, less interested in. Anything below the 144th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here all the time? I know, exactly. <laughs>